The way I see it, there's two types of people. Those who spend their lives trying to build a future, and those who spend their lives trying to rebuild the past. For too long, I've been stuck in between, hidden in the dark. What was I really doing walking in there with my bad haircut and ridiculous shirt? Was I there to make something right? Or was I just using a messed up situation to indulge myself? Grasping at some desperate delusion of control. Maybe the two went hand in hand more than I cared to admit. Oh shit, dance party! This could take me, dance party. Maybe this wasn't such a big mistake. This was some kind of street party. This was the kind of reality Americans paid top dollar to see. Slums had become tourist attractions, places where yuppies could gawk at the endless spirit of the poor from the inside of their bulletproof buses. I felt dumb and exposed. I missed the booze. Not that it mattered, sober or drunk, I was hardly undercover. I stood out in this place like a street walker in a monastery. Oh, okay. There are the guys with guns. Found them. Hey, can a dude just party? What's up? What's the deal? What do you need, guys? What do you need? Uh, easy, pal, easy. Look, I didn't mean any offense. I don't think they understand you. Oh, alright. These guys are all gonna die. I just don't like fucking sunglasses. Are they mugging me? Why do you need a watch? I don't have a shirt on or shoes. I was gonna have to look on this as a good outcome. I was deep in gang territory. These kids were raised hating clowns like me. Middle income ass kickers who protected the rich by shooting kids like them. I feel less badass now though without my sunglasses. First day off the sauce and somehow I still ended up in the gutter. Oh, I think we walk all the way around here, okay. Or I probably could have just walked right up there. But it's cool to walk across the bridge. If there was one thing I'd learned since I've been here. It was that Brazilians came out of the womb kicking a ball. And for kids like these, it was their one legal chance at a ticket out of here. I'm a little lost. Perdido? On the stoop. I'm a little errado, rapaz. No comprende. I need a phone, a telephone. Bora. Publico. Well, they weren't going to help me, and who could blame them? I was a dumb American in a place where dumb Americans were less popular than the clap. If I was going to find my way out of this mess, I was on my own. It looked like there was a bar up ahead. The irony was not lost on me. <laughs> I figured sobriety was no use to me dead. What's in here? Do guys got some like lemonade or something? It's kinda hot out. I assume. Looks hot out. Brazil. Where did you see a bar of a head? Oh, is this the bar? What? 
Yep, just your uh, typical bar. I hoped this classy looking establishment would have a phone so I could call Passos. Either that or a gun so I could shoot myself and save these kids the bother. Hey, that telephone? Telephone, vai lá no fundo, segue frente. When you're stuck in a foreign country and you don't know the words for reverse charges and you're in some lonely skin joint in the middle of some poor slum having just had every last cent robbed from you and you call yourself a body then you oh, know you're a loser. Hey Matt, Back up there, how are you Do I know you? I don't think so. Look, if you're gonna shoot me, to make it quick, I'm a little busy. If I was going to shoot you, I wouldn't waste a beer. Wait, come on, try to dry out a bit, so just a soda, please. Sure. Why don't you go sit down? Guaraná pra ele, um choque pra mim. Bem gelado. Interesting haircut, by the way. I meant to tell you that. <clears throat> yeah, well. Wilson da Silva. Very good to meet you. Nice to meet you, I think. Although you'll forgive me if I promise never to employ you as my bodyguard. You did a great job watching after Rodrigo Bronco. Fuck you. You were set up. Bet your ass I was. Now, let me ask you something. Have you ever seen this guy? Serrano. Yeah. He's a real sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, he sure put his gang out of business. But don't worry, those guys, they're a small fry. This is the guy I'm interested in. Neves. And this is his little buddy here. Milo Hegel. They work for this vigilante group, Rasha Preto. Yeah, I know him. Well, they're very popular with right-wing politicians, like Victor Braun. Now, you see, many years ago, he helped clear some villages on a bit of land Rodrigo Bronco wanted to develop. Rodrigo Bronco? Yes, he did some very bad things. Anyway, have you ever seen this guy? Maybe at the stadium. I knew you were involved in that business. You know, I wanted to investigate that, but I got an order to blame it on some local street kids instead. Tell me, what happened there? Nothing, we simply went to hand over some cash to this guy's clowns for a, a ransom exchange when this guy's clowns jumped us and they shot everybody. Apart from you and your boy Passos. That's right. We had to shoot our way out of there. <laughs> they let you go. <laughs> it's okay. No. It's a little weird right now. Killed everybody. I know that Victor Bronco is involved in all this. I just don't know how or why. And I know that the Ufe are involved in all this as well, but I just don't know how or why. And you know what's gonna happen? The moment is gonna come along when I put all these pieces together, and at that moment, someone is gonna come along and put a bullet in my head. <laughs> anyway, listen. I think you might want this. Thank you. I'll need it. And if it's Fabiana Bronco you've come looking for, I think she's up the hill. Yeah, I so know. why don't you just go get her? I don't know. I'm a cop. I mean, I'll fight corruption. I'll stand up to the rich and dumb, but if I go up that hill right now, I'll be dead in three minutes or less. Maybe you too, Max. You're in the jungle now. So it appears. If you survive the next hour, let's speak. You help me. And I'm gonna do what I can to help you. Good luck. Oh, I didn't know what to make of what this guy had just told me. What was true and what was just someone else's convenient bullshit. Then some less than friendly locals came in and found me in the wrong mood to party. Can't a guy just have a soda around here? Hey, Green. What are you doing? No comprende. Leave me alone. <laughs> Okay. Do you got something for me? For you? I'll tell you what I got. 
I got a gun, and if anybody thinks they're gonna take it from me, they'd be dead wrong. Yeah, yeah, dead wrong. Dead, dead wrong. I got some pretty poor aim. Come on, dude, you're just delaying. You're just delaying. Alright. What was that photograph? Oh, there's still somebody alive. I couldn't just pretend my friends weren't there. Coming to this shithole town for the last five years. It's like a fucking insane asylum. Why do you keep coming back then? It's got the cheapest pussy in the world. Fuck oh, me. Okay. me. You're in a cat house in the slum, pal, doing who knows what. <laughs> I'm a businessman, bro. And they were fully legal in this country. I, I, th I think. And, and I know how to tip, alright? It ain't my fault, man. It ain't my fault. Don't yeah, that's why I'm shooting people. Don't judge you me, didn't right? tip properly. Have a nice day. Jesus. What a fucking creep. So I'll swing back through here. That comforting yep. smell of secondhand beer and exploitation. How did that just happen? Beer bottle just exploded. I want to go back here and examine this photo. Whatever it is. Know, the man of the hour. Had De Silva left this there on purpose as some passive aggressive message to the CS? From a cop who was apparently too scared to go near any real criminals. It was a strange power play. Alright, I guess we're going up the hill. It was Monday afternoon, and I'd already been thrown out of a party, gone to a strip club, and got into a bar fight. This latest midlife crisis was certainly ticking all the boxes. 